What is happening, Booth Junkies? It's Mike again, and we're back in our car, and I just wanted to record another video showing how the car could be a sound booth, and really just to evaluate if a car can be a sound booth if you're using a condenser microphone. So in the last video, we used a dynamic microphone, and dynamics are great because you can get right up on them, and they're not quite as sensitive to the environment. The question is, if you have a condenser microphone, because a lot of you probably do, a condenser microphone is really what you want in a studio environment. The question is, does it work in the car? So I have it set up again. I'm using my one of my condenser mics. This is a CAD E100, good entry, uh, sort of an intermediate level price-wise microphone. One, I, I love this microphone. I think it does great for my voice. But the question is, is with the windows, does it create a reverberation that these more sensitive condenser microphones will pick up. And so we're in here right now. And so how does it sound to you? I do think that this car, uh, compared to the other car that we were in, the other one was my wife's car, this is my car, this car is a little bit brighter sounding because of the uh, more reflective surfaces of the leather that's going to send a little bit more high frequency back at me. This is a little bit closer. Uh, the other one was a, a wagon. This is a, a, a sedan. And I'm bumping the microphone, sorry. This is a sedan, uh, so it's a little bit smaller inside, um, and it will be a little bit more reflective. I'm not using a pop filter here, so I'm trying to be pretty close to the microphone. I'd, I'd say I'm, I don't know, that far away uh, from the microphone, uh, but I do feel like I am getting a little tiny bit of reverberation. Uh, so that's something that you'll have to pay attention to. Um, it, it will be a lot more about mic technique. You'll probably want to use a, a, a pop filter if you can in the car, uh, because you may find that you need to get right up on that microphone in order to overcome the reverberation. You may also find that you'll need to use a noise gate uh, in order to uh, attenuate any of the road noise that might seep in. There are cars driving by right now. It's certainly possible that a little bit of automobile noise from the outside is going to leak in. So if you haven't watched my noise gate video, now would be a good time to check that out so that you can learn how to duck out that, that unwanted noise during the quiet parts. So if I'm not talking and we hear road noise come in, then that's the part you want to duck out. Normally, with me talk, talking this close to the microphone, I'd be able to overcome that road noise because it is pretty quiet in here. And so this is an example of what it can sound like using a car as a vocal booth if you're using a condenser microphone. So I hope this helps. Now, hop in your car and record something amazing. All right, so you know how this works, right? So it's the end of the video, and we've got a little screen here with two other videos that I think might be helpful for you. They might have some good information, especially if you want to become a voiceover artist. Lots of tips and tricks in here, so go ahead and click one of those videos. But before you go, if you would, just click on that subscribe button for me, would you? I'd really appreciate it. Did you click it? Oh, I hope you did. Well, anyway, we'll see you at the next video, and I look forward to bringing more to you. Thanks.